How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Fear and Hunger. A little bit, uh, a couple of rough, rough attempts there, but uh, I'm feeling good about this one. So let's get into it, because I, I think we'll... <laughs> We can't do worse than last time pretty well. Maybe if I pull a Davy Havoc and uh, and spell black incorrectly and bless you if you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> then it'll it'll pull in the extra satanic powers needed to make this run last. We're going with Black <laughs> Jack. He'll he'll last for sure. This, it makes you watch this intro every time as far as I'm aware. I haven't figured out how to skip it, so it takes like 20 seconds. I'm going to top up my water. I feel like I have the same thought over and over that I, I don't record this game for something like a week. Usually around a week, it's just been working out that way. And every time I'm like, I should probably do like another episode or two, maybe round it out and kind of close off the series a little bit, move on, other games, and then I sit down and play it and get so frustrated and so excited and so uh, many ups and downs and everything, and I just get excited about the game all over again, and then I'm like, nah, this game's dope. Uh, maybe I should have tried the alternate, the not the not necromancy thing, because I didn't know it was going to come down to a coin toss. That's, that's like brutal. That's very punishing and maybe I should see what happens if you don't choose that option. Two leather helmets, so if I ever manage to save that girl I can chuck her a helmet too. I keep committing to going this way first. Maybe maybe it does make more sense to go up top first. I'm gonna back up on that here. I'm gonna I'm gonna do things a little differently this time. Hopefully those hounds aren't nearby there that pursuit of the hounds might like discontinue the second you you pop your head down under so I, I think I'm clear of that for now quill nice so I can eventually learn herding I believe I just kind of have to remember I might like ch cheese it a little bit on that and like no I, oh, okay good right I shouldn't click through things so willy-nilly I'm gonna run I'm gonna run from the door. <laughs> Tries to escape. They they escape just fine. Um, yeah, if I find a parchment paper to write things on. No oh, shit. I should just let the encounter happen so I don't lure him into a part of the the area that's more dangerous. I should just uh, just take the opportunity to run the hell away from him, and probably just peace out of the entire area and see if he follows. Ah, he doesn't. But is he still going to be the same area? He is. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I'll come back there later then. I've been effectively chased away. And I've lost my train of thought. Mm, right. Okay. If I find a quill. I have a quill. If I find a piece of paper to write on. Uh, I might like look up my old playthrough to find that list. Or the, the specific inscription needed to teach yourself hurting. I'm never going to remember the very precise wording of that. And apparently hurting is a very good skill. It was used against me and it fucked me up royally. So I would love to know how to use hurting. As stupid of a name as that is. Uh, yeah, but I'm never going to remember the wording. And it's kind of ridiculous to have to remember the name. This precise wording of it. So if it comes down to it. If I find the ink and the paper and whatever. Everything that I need. I'll, I'll probably cheat mildly. I mean, I f found it once before. It's just the desire to not have to commit that to memory. God damn it. I wonder if you fall through this one, if you even can fall through the other one. Like, can you land in this place twice? And if you do, do you have less time the second time through? Are you, like, guaranteed you're gonna get fucked up by this dude? See, right around now, he should appear again. Uh, and he... He appear yeah, you can hear the laugh carrying on actually. He like appears twice really close together like that, and I think that's when you've kinda hit the limit. Oh, I got lucky that that guy just randomly bombed the other direction. I think when he appears twice in a row like that is when he's like about to attack. And if you do that entire section, like pixel precise, waste no time, waste no energy, you escape him by like seconds. Okay, I got worm juice. If it comes up, I'm going to intentionally walk through this. You don't fall twice. It is only just the one or the other. So that's kind of good to know. Armor. 
Leg guards. I don't think I've ever protected my legs before. I got weak, frail little shins. No calves to support it either. Eagle crest shield. All right, I feel like I, I just found a buckler and I'm already ditching that shit. This guy's getting pimped out. He's, uh, that's the most decked out I've ever had a character be, I think. I don't think I've ever had full equipment like that. So good, good for you, Black. I am willing to risk the necromancy again. Uh, if I'm going to be stupid enough to accidentally give myself necromancy again, rather than seeing what the other thing is, I might as well fucking use it. Ho ho! Sick. Oh, that's kind of sweet. That was cool. Necromancy was successful. Give a name to your new skeleton. Oh, I was so hopeful that that was going to be the case. Well, if my name is uh, like a Davy, Davy Havoc <laughs> reference, you can be Davy the skeleton. That's what we'll go with. You look hardcore, dude. I'm pumped. Davy doesn't seem to remember anything about its past life, but it doesn't seem to care. Davy's just happy to do what he do. I can never remember uh, if there's shit actually worth grabbing down here. But I don't really want to go deal with that guard immediately. I feel like I'm going to get ruined if I do that. So uh, we might as well bomb down here for a little while. Hello? Anyone? Anyone here? How come I never go this way? I don't see any enemies. I'm just seeing crates and things every which way. Oh, there's something hanging out over there, but there's goodies. Goodies all over. Oh, it sucks to dodge the library, though. Oh, okay, it's not a person. It's just a big hanging torch. Oh, I remember what's down here now. That big, wooden, crazy son of a bitch. Ooh, can I give the bone saw to the skeleton? That'd be pretty cool. Can I give him uh, equipment at all? Shit, I can. Huh. I wonder how wasteful that is, though. Like, if he dies, i probably just lose that shit, right? Yeah, you really do have to hit up the library at some point, because you, you need to learn how to make potions. Yeah, quick old bed if we ever want to risk, uh, risk that crow mauler. Not right now. <laughs> I'd, want, uh, I'd want to run to last a little bit longer, to have a little bit, like, more irreplaceable shit going on before I risk that. I mean... Getting Davy on the team, that's pretty sweet. That's uh that's a first. It's only my second attempt, but you know, that's like that's like exciting enough to want to consider saving, but I really oh god, okay, this thing seems very slow. I hope this isn't a corner. It is. Oh god, oh god. Oh he can't he can't walk through that shit. He's blocked. Ooh. That's uh a relief. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I, I wasted it with Omen because I didn't know at the time, you know? So, I want to be careful here. Especially since you're essentially risking dying by going for that save. If you if you do end up having to deal with the crow mauler. So, yeah, not worth it so far. The blood is still wet. Ugh. It's just something that the big dude probably stomped in the smithereens, hey? I wonder if you can ag agitate him enough. That he would just come smashing through and like bust bust down that arch or anything like that? Oh yeah, this dude. Man, I haven't been in this area in forever. Short bow. Alright. I like how uh, a necromanced skeleton is of no concern to this dude. He's been down here long enough that he's seen some shit. He's, he's unconcerned. Don't know what to do with these basins. I don't appear to be able to like scoop anything out or pour anything into them or, or any anything useful seeming so I don't know what to do about any of that. Ah right the key the key is just for this oh right I always think there's a door there. But I feel like the key, yes, is used in this area. So maybe I just don't go back to that little section. Hmm, maybe you don't use the key there. Right, and then the prisons. But I can use that key here? No, don't force. I don't want to force anything. Use red vial to open this up. That's unexpected. You don't feel like sleeping here. Then what was the goddamn point of opening this up? 
And that dude can just fly straight through that shit? I thought maybe it was like a little bit of a way of hiding away from him or something. There's no reason to open that up whatsoever. I'm not dealing with that zombie. Fuck that. He's not going to give me anything useful. That's a lose-lose scenario for sure. I... Another small key. That's cool, I guess. But, like, what was the point of coming down here? Ah. Yeah, I don't want to deal with the blood pit just yet, I don't think. Shit's... Shit gets real over there. Oh, god damn. There's a guard just waiting to use that big-ass crossbow. Uh, I'm backtracking. I'm going back up top. I'm gonna try and hit up, like, the library and stuff. I feel like it's too important. Maybe I'm wrong, but it feels that way. Ah, I thought I could zigzag around it. It wasn't... Wasn't worth it, but man, this Davy looks weirdly like ripped. Oh, do I not get to control him? Wow, he's fucking weak. He's literally just there to take damage. I, I'm fairly certain, because uh, those four four damages, buddy, aren't gonna help shit. I guess I have to give him a weapon. I just haven't found a weapon. It's the fact that he's punching is the issue. Hmm. Well, we'll see what we can do about that, buddy. Hey, you punched his head pretty damn good. That was good for you, man. You did a little bit of something there. Pull, pulling your weight to an extent. Fucking inject. I think I have... I'm pretty sure I have the worm fluid. Ah, there you go. Make it up for the fact that I got, like, a miss in there. I'll, I'll search it. They never have anything. Useless garbage. I don't have a skinning knife or anything, so I can't even... Can't even do any of that. I'm pretty sure I have the worm thing. Yeah, shit, sucks I have to do this again. I have to use up all my, my good, useful things. I found a white one, didn't I? I thought I found that really early on. Was that my last attempt? Shit, damn. Frig. I, uh... Thought for sure I had a white vial. God damn it. All right. Hey, right. The merchant dude. I think I've found quite a bit of money. I might be able to buy, like, a, a vial or something useful like that. Full healing. Yes, please. Oh, my time here is done. Farewell. He only sells one thing. All right. Well, that was probably a, a good purchase. The guard should be just to the right there. Yeah, he's an idiot, isn't he? What a dumbass. I, uh, need to really get clear of him. I hope I broke him. I hope he, like, can't... <laughs> he can't go there. And he, he, like, he can't move from there. It looked like in the in the last possible second as I was, uh... Book of Fears again. As I was kind of getting clear of that particular area, it looked like he was still moving. But I don't know if that was just some sort of, like, idle animation. I would love if he's broken. Wait a second faint whimpers yeah it's the little girl she's in a different spot there are like a few predetermined layouts of this area it's been so long since i've done randomized versions of this you know list of inmates yeah i've ha I found that before i have a small key is it like the kind of key that would be useful um yeah just use the key i could also have used a red vial again she's staying quiet um I can probably... This is the, the biggest crew we've ever had. I can probably afford to give you a hood. <laughs> it's nothing great, but it's something. Um, I need to find some books. I need to find antidote. Fuck. Alright, well, there's the book section. I found the library segment of the horror dungeons. Worm juice again. That's... Oh, white vial. They were side by side. That's uh, very convenient. Do you know what, little girl? You get a buckler too. Oh, she can't. She can't hold it. <laughs> All right, fair enough. That makes sense, I guess. Uh, this is almost at a point where I would like love to save it, but I don't think I want to risk... Hey, yeah, I don't have to deal with the zombie in this version. Uh, I don't want to risk the crow mauler for, for a save, you know? Book of Forgotten Memories. I'm uncertain if that is new to me. Poems of Love and Torment. Yeah, we've had that before. That's nothing exciting. A book with fine decorated covers. The book radiates certain dignity. 
Mm, that looks unfamiliar. A weird baby bleeding down onto another baby being sacrificed to like a unicorn Satan. That I think I would remember. Oh, it's specifically a dark priest thing. As you open the book, you feel warmth and nostalgia that cannot be explained. Memories of your past life flash before your eyes, but some of these memories are not yours. So this must be very specific to playing as this character. You remember the wicked rituals your ancestors took part in, the crude, old-fashioned witchcraft that lacked the finesse of its modern counterpart. You remember, however, your ancestors would desperately try to contact even the most minor demons in their attempts to gain more knowledge of the other side. You remember how from every generation only the eldest child would be chosen to continue the family name, while the rest would cut open, would peek cut open and have their blood drained as a sacrifice to older gods. You remember, after generations of these black arts, your ancestors finally managed to summon a wretched little evil. The miscreant that crawled from the summoning circle revealed its secrets. You remember? Blood sacrifice. As you finish reading the book, it crumbles into dust before your very eyes. So that's a book you literally do have to read. There's a lot of these that you don't actually have to read to, to gain the knowledge or whatever. Sacrifice blood for gods. I don't know if that would just make me extra strong in battle or if it would uh, gain me affinity for like a specific god or anything like that. Do I have an empty vial? Uh, if I do, I, I feel like I'm, I'm missing it. But I want to try and scoop up some of that black liquid if I, if I do find one. There's more of it just right there even. Ah, shit. Yeah, I'm still I'm still feeling the running, I think. Luckily these guys are dumb enough that that seems to work quite consistently. Uh-huh. All right. Fuck, maybe we do try and commit to uh to a killing here. I don't know if I'm strong enough to to one shot his his grabbing arm and stuff cuz that oh thank god cuz that's like wholly necessary to this plan if i can't one shot that then like i'm super crazy boned very necessary i don't have any bandages so that's sweet i uh i can't can't wrap up my bleeding here's one thing i've never done i've never like maimed one of these things removed all its limbs and then ran away <laughs> I'm curious if it would stumble around crawling on the ground like a big dumb idiot or or how that would how that would play out. I would like to try, but I also don't want to like risk anything. Oh, the red vial isn't healing or anything. It's just corrosive. That's why that works. Uh yeah, I wouldn't want to risk anything just to mess around with something dumb like that. Suspiciously murky. Why does it have to be suspiciously murky? God damn it. I just want you to chug that. Oh, it causes a burning sensation the moment it is drank. It didn't heal dick. I just poisoned myself? Are you kidding me? What kind of garbage is this? Everything was actually going well. Oh, I can stop bleeding with that. All right, sweet. But I don't have a white vial anymore. The one I found, I used. I'm gonna goddamn die again. I didn't realize, that's the first time I've ever realized that you can just keep spending the item you selected like that. So I wish I would have discovered that sooner. But I'm glad I figured it out now. Meat cleaver. Man. <coughs> I really hope I can give that to Davy. I'm like not really <laughs> Yeah, and he gets a loincloth. Davy's dope. I want to I want to put Davy to like good use. I want to see him in action now that he's decked out. But uh mostly I just got to stay alive for for the foreseeable little stretch ahead of me here. God and that's not that's not gonna be the easiest task, you know. Gonna have to really be as cautious as possible. You see a figure standing in the shadows ahead. Ah, it's just the goofy zombie dude again. But he does attack multiple times. He has a huge dickhead like that. Alright, can I grab a white vial or something? Like Ah! We were gonna have to deal with this. I'm just hoping I can talk it I can counter magic him. 
Undo the effects of lesser magic by your superior knowledge in the greater scheme of things. It's risky, because what if it doesn't work? But I think I have to try. I have to try it at least once. You disrupt the necromancy that was keeping the ghoul alive with your counter magic mantra. The ghoul falls limp to the ground without its soul. Oh, I can one-shot zombies. That is great news. I know how shitty that these things are to fight. Like how weak and useless they are. I might as well try and necromancer it. Things are going poorly anyways. Fuck it, right? <laughs> I mean, now I, now I just have to fight him again. Can I collapse him over and over again? Oh, it didn't even, I didn't even get the bad result of turning him into something I actually have to fight. Well, I'll just repeatedly use that shit then. Get on my team there, buddy boy. Why the hell not? Wow, he's a, he's a babe. He kind of does he kind of does look like the the mercenary, I think. I think that's kind of what they're going for is that it's like previous attempts still roaming roaming around down here. Man, now I really need to find uh, a white potion cuz I want to live and save. I want Davy and Buddy Boy. Shamelessly, he scratches his groin area. Gross, dude. Why you, why you gotta be like that? Fuck sakes, I'm never gonna find a white vial. I'm t toast. I never I never learned any potions in the in the library area. Things are getting dicey as all hell. I'm not I'm not in a very good way here. I better I better open up this door. Just in case I somehow ever end up on the other side of this again. I'm still climbing up out this way, but just in case, it at least gives me that that way out if it comes down to it. Oh, my mind is ruined. I had no idea my mind was in such bad shape. God damn. Oh, the, he actually does have hunger. The buddy boy actually does become hungry over time, so that's interesting. God, I better chug some some ales. Get myself back from going insane. Davy has sanity too. These these necromatic things do have sanity. That's very peculiar. Hmm. I had just done that one layout of things so many times that I I was so un. I, I just hadn't seen randomized layouts in a long time. Ah, balls. Oh, he can catch the, the tail end of my party. That's good to know, I suppose. F fuck him. We're gonna, we're gonna kill this piece of shit. Uh, I wish, I, I can't, I can't make my zombie or skeleton guard or anything, so they just kinda are gonna do their own thing all the time. The meat cleaver was really fucking strong. Okay, Davy's suddenly useful. That's good to know. Let's just uh, try and kill another one of these guys. Steal his, come on man. St steal his meat cleaver. Buddy boy will have one too. As long as I don't die from poison or anything, which is like very, very likely. We can pull this together. We're gonna have a full on wrecking crew. As long as you guys just like stop and think and attack the parts of this body that makes sense. Oh god, what does this alert mean? Is he about to bail? Is he a chicken? Is, is he gonna run out of here? Shit. I uh, I don't I don't have anything to heal with. Kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, that was a pretty good little gut punch you, you landed there. Oh my god, I'm so close to dead. It's not... Cool. It sucks. <laughs> All right, man. Buddy boy. Oh, he can't. He can't take the meat cleaver. That's a damn shame. I would have loved to deck him out. Captain's diary in small key. Nothing new there. Pinecone pig. Soul devour necklace. That's a, that's a new one. Uh, the pinecone pig. I don't have what I need for it. I found that one once before. Uh, Book of Enlightenment, uh, I can save, but it's, there's no reason to, because I'm, like, boned, I'm super boned. Fuck. 
come on. All right, guys. Keep it together. Stay strong. Stay strong for Black Jack. Maybe we go find the sex party. A crack underneath your feet. God damn it. What is this going to be now? I failed. Fuck. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, my God. Find a white vial. Find a white vial. I don't care about anything else right now. That is my number one mission. That's almost. You're almost there. Vials. Vials all over the place. Just the wrong colors and wrong kinds. Come on. Come on. This is so uncool. Hey, he's not actually... Does poison only take effect during battles? Is that like one small little saving grace that I have right now? How the hell do I get out of here? Do I have to explosive vial this rubble? That's my that's my only guess. I've never tried that before. I knew there had to have been a way to um get through rubble and shit like this. Okay. That's good to know. That's a, a thing that I knew had to have been a part of the game in some way. I've just never been able to actually do. Okay, and I have several of those if I can ever make it back up top because I don't really know where to go right now. I'm getting all fired up. This is exciting. There's possibilities all of a sudden, you know? Maybe it's not so hopeless after all. I didn't realize there was a way to go over here before. Now that I know you don't die... Like, bleeding, bleeding you die walking around, poison is only in battles, so getting into a fight was probably a dumb idea. Oh. Oh. That's how you get out of, or that's, that's like the purpose of that bed. I, I just, I don't know why that didn't alert anything, why nothing bad happened to me there. Um, oh. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't know why. Do I have a small key for this? Ah. I don't know why that bat creature didn't get at me there. Do you know what? This is uh, a gamble, but I'm in such rough shape that I'm willing to risk the crow mauler. I know I have the Book of Enlightenment. I know that I have that, but I want to save that. I'm willing to risk the crow mauler to try and like salvage this run because if I get lucky I can save that book of enlightenment for further down the line if I manage to like you know salvage this if I if I can <sighs> if someone was watching you while you sleep this room doesn't feel safe anymore you don't have to fight the chrome the first one is safe the first save is safe oh my goodness Oh. oh, there's so much possibility here. I have a book of enlightenment. I can make it so much further. And then, ah, oh. oh, I have so much possibility. This is very exciting. This is a, 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 a situation I never expected to find myself in this game. Possibilities. That was never, never an expectation going into this. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm so, my mind is so blown. I need to, I need to just uh, exit or something. I mean, I, I have the save point. All you can starve and die. It doesn't matter. I have the save point to go back to. Oh, and if I boot the save point back up again, it randomizes certain things. I don't know where to go, where there's boxes and stuff I haven't opened up before. I, Cause I've searched most things, which sucks, but uh, like, if I get totally fucked on a, a, a new attempt, I might get lucky on another one. I still won't have potions, I won't have vials. I got something. I can experiment. This is something to build off of. We have, like, a team and everything, so I, I'm missing a hand. I didn't realize I lost a hand at some point. That's unfortunate, but that's promising. I'm pretty, pretty excited about that, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, much more productive than my, my last attempt there, for sure. I'll see you again soon.